Hello to all my wonderful KCD champions. I hope you are doing absolutely great. So now I am here to talk about choice 2. My dear children, I always tell you, whenever you are asked to pick up between one choice, always remember all of it has some consequences. Without knowing about consequences, if you go and take some choice, you would be trapped. So don't do that mistake. So the new update about choice 2 is that you would have to pay the course fee. So what do you mean by choice 2 first of all? Choice 2 means you are accepting a college and you are looking for an upgrade in the next round. So you are keeping a college in your hold and then you are looking for an upgrade. So when you keep a college in your hold, you would have to pay the course fee. Now the next question that comes is, can I add options ma'am in round 3 before I get entry into round 3? Can I add more options up there? The answer is no. But ma'am, in that case, how will I, how can I look for an upgrade? So that is what I am going to explain you over here. I'll tell you how you can make your option entry list properly such that you will get a better college out there. So please listen to me carefully. Okay. Now, getting with the first thing out there, what exactly is choice two? As I told you, choice two is where you accept your seat. Suppose we are in round two now. So round two seat would be accepted and you also would be allowed to participate in round two. 3. Now, suppose when you go to round 3 and if you get a higher option in round 3, the new seat one will be the one will be which which will be the final one. For example, if you didn't get an idea of it, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 colleges. Suppose I have got the 6th college in this round that is round 2. Then I went for an upgrade. So what happened? Whenever I go for an upgrade, always remember, suppose I got a college over here, all the other lower options will be gone all the lower options will be automatically deleted my dear children now what will i left what will i be left with i'll be left with one to five colleges out there now suppose in the next round i have got the third college in the round three i have got the third college now ma'am i think that the sixth college itself was nice can i choose can i go back to sixth college the answer is no if you have got a higher option so these are the higher options if you get a new seat in the higher option you would have to take it up you do not have an option otherwise option so if not you keep your round two seat suppose ma'am in the next round i didn't get a seat i didn't get the third college in that case you will still have your sixth college okay the sixth college that you have got you will still have it now since you are keeping this on hold my dear children as i said you would have to compulsorily pay the course fee please remember that now going ahead to the next question can you add fresh options in round three as i already told you you cannot add but what can you do you can reorder your existing options and also you can delete some options when do you delete options my dear children you should be knowing about that you delete options suppose one two three four five six is there over here it's not visible okay i'll go with this visible or is this visible yes this is visible so one two three four five six colleges i have my dear children the sixth college the college is good the course is not that great the college is good the course is not that great and i have got the seventh college as of now so in your opinion should i be keeping the sixth option out there since so the college is good but the course does not have any placement it's like very bad placement should i keep it no you should be removing this option ma'am i have a fifth college where the college is good and the course is good the college is good and the course is good okay and i'll give it a uh, second rank but the first rank goes to the fourth college where the college is actually good the course is super good better than this so this is the one with the first rank okay that means this is the one that is better way better than the fifth one so which one which one should i keep at the top should i keep the list like this itself like four should be this college and five should be this college or should i interchange should i keep this above and this below what do you think you should keep it exactly like this. The colleges which are actually good and which is in your range, my dear children, keep it at the top. Okay, the ones that come second, what is the secondary option? That should be coming in the lower things. So it should be coming down. Now suppose this college is the one, I'm removing one, two, three. Okay, this college, the college is good. The course is good, but it is not 
but this is the one that is really good this is on the first rank and this is somewhere on the third rank and this is on the second rank if you compare between these three colleges then what should be your order your order should be this should be coming first this particular college which is at the fourth one this should be coming first and then what should be coming the fifth college and then what should be coming the third college so now according to the new list this will be three four and five i hope you're understanding you have to reorder the options otherwise whatever comes to the top that will be the one that would be taken up so please do not make this mistake okay so if they read the option they will take give you this one they will be giving you this one if it matches with your rank. They will not go for the fourth one. So you have to reorder the options properly such that the fourth is now the third college out there. You get it? So that is very, very important. Now, example for clarity, it's according to what is exactly given in the document shared by KA. Suppose you have entered 85 options in round two. You have got an option number 67. So out of 85 colleges out there, out of 85 colleges out there, you have got 67th college. Now, in round three, your options from 1 to 66, from 1 to 66th college that would be your higher order option that will be still valid and now the lower ones from this to this will it be still there the answer is no it will be automatically removed so what you have to do you have to make changes up over here if you mess around here you will not get an upgraded seat in the next round and you're looking for an upgrade which is why you are going with choice two right so make sure you're bringing in those changes you have to look for the college as well as the course now the next question Pro tips to use, choice to smartly, filter options, keep only colleges you are 100% ready to join. Understand this fact, suppose in the next round you got an upgraded college and now you do not want to join that also. Your course fee will be going, you would also have to pay the penalty, 5 times of the, of the fee. So please do not do that mistake. So keep only those colleges which you are 100% likely to join and please reorder carefully. Put realistic higher choices above, not just dream colleges. So you should say, okay, my, uh, okay, I have put made the list, but now this list has colleges which does not match with my rank at all. If you keep on like that, it will be of no use. You should put some colleges which should be matching with your rank. So you have to see that which one would be the better option out there. That is the thing. Now check cut offs so how do you understand whether will i get it or not you have to look for the previous year cutoff this will give you a tentative idea i'm not saying exact idea exact thing would be happening this year but at least a tentative idea it would be you would get so compare the previous year round three cutoffs before keeping higher options so that you understand okay the previous year the cutoff was like this okay so previous year the cutoff suppose it was 2000 and your rank is 5000 or probably 6000 so do you think it's a safe option you can keep it, but is it a safe option? No. Suppose a college cutoff is 5,500 and now your rank is 6,000. So yes, it can be put, it can be a safe option. Now suppose a college cutoff is 6,000 and your uh, rank, 6,500 is the college cutoff and your rank is 6,000. It's absolutely comparatively very, very safe. Okay, it's comparatively very, very safe. Now suppose the college cutoff is 7,000, but your cutoff is, sorry, your rank is 6,000. Then the paka, you may get it. So you have to put in your options like that. You have to keep the safe options as well. Make sure you're understanding it. And you will only realize which one is safe for you, which one is not by understanding the cutoffs of the previous year. I hope that is absolutely clear. Dear children, next thing. Pros for choices too. You should know when is taking choice too good. So the pros are the good part of the story is that it keeps your current seat safe. That is why choice two is good. It still gives a chance for a better seat because you're looking for an upgrade and you are having a current seat also. It lowers the risk compared to what? Choice three, which is why choice two is comparatively good. But please understand you would have to pay the course fee. That is the only thing. But if at all you're sure that I will participate in KCET or KA counseling, please make sure you're going with choice two. It's not a problem. Now cons, the problem with choice two is that if you get a higher option, you must take it. So that is not an actual problem. That's not an actual problem until and unless you mess around the option entry. So if your options are clearly good, then getting a higher option is not a problem. Right. So actually speaking, there is no much cons. There is only pros about it. There's only good thing about choice two. But you have to make sure that whatever college you're putting in there, you will join up. Okay. Or you will take up that course. That's all.
Okay, so I'm not taking this video any further. That's all I wanted to talk about choice two. If at all you have still doubts, lingering around in your head, put it down in the comment section. I am here to help you with that. And as I said, if you like this video, do not forget to click on the like button. Do not forget to click on the subscribe button. Do not forget to share it with your friends who are very confused about all choices. That's all, my dear children. And I hope you have got the good news that the option entry time period have extended. So make sure you are doing all things good, 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 good. Okay, look for the choice and then fill it that's all wishing you all the best bye bye take care